The problem in my city is within diversity in the tech industry, and it ain't funny because they got all the money. The smartest firms, they can't solve it. Google, Facebook, and Yahoo, they all wanted to hide it, but in an audit, they all were astounded. Black and brown representation at less than 3% throughout the nation. Come on, let's be honest. It should be better. A worthwhile endeavor. Build up the workforce. Show lives they matter. Now communities can grow. Let the money flow. Release the control on the knowledge and access. Only through education can we manifest a new destiny where I could be creating my community's needs. Not a consumer following trend and greed. Coded academy. Engaging in the language skills and mastery. Built on the values of agency and empathy. Dual immersion. Real life learning. Computational thinking. Hypertext syntax. Java scripting. Bring this tech industry a new beginning. Where? Here in Oakland, baby. <laughs> yes, my topic is about making computer science relevant in the hood. Um, first, I'm just going to thank you guys for being here, for all the awesome work that all my fellows, fellows have done. It's probably one of my favorite statements, fellow fellows. I'm really stoked to see all this amazing work. So today I'm going to talk to you just about a few things. The first one is this glaring problem right here. Less than 8% of the tech employees in the Bay Area and nationwide represent 23% of the population that's black and brown people. We are at 23%, but somehow we're not making headway. And as you see, the ugly number, even in a graphic, a pretty graphic, still looks ugly. Companies like Facebook and Instagram that our students use represent only 6% black and Latino in the workforce. That's not enough. One time I got to hear Van Jones speak and he said in a wonderful statement that we need to create more black Mark Zuckerbergs. That's his solution, see? I like that, this group claps for it. My last group was like, what? But I totally agree. But the real issue is the hoodie. This is my dear friend, Rodney Urquhart. If you haven't heard his story, he went from a high school dropout to a chief engineer at Slack. He does testing. But the issue is the hoodie. When you see a black guy in the hoodie, you go, ooh. But if you see a white guy in a hoodie, sometimes you go, maybe that's Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> so we need to change the hoodie. It's a tale of two hoodies, but it takes an entire community. I'm lucky to work with all these people in Oakland in order to bring computer science to the hood and make it relevant. So it takes an entire community, and I'm happy to have agency by design, have my back, and be part of that community as well. Who am I? Well, I'm a Libra. I love Nike Dunks. All my Libras in the house. We are the best, by the way. And I love french fries. I actually tried to live an entire week off of just eating french fries. Didn't work that well. But none of those facts are relevant, have nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Today I'm talking about relevancy in computer science. So here are the relevant facts. I have a bachelor's of science in civil engineering, not computer engineering, but I do love computer science. I teach it at West Oakland Middle School, and I'm lucky enough to be an agency by design fellow. Shout out to all my fellow fellows. <laughs> When I'm not here talking to amazing adults who do incredible work that gets me pumped up and inspired, I'm hanging out with these types of amazing students. And right here you see two of my wonderful computer science nerds. They were building an incredible app called the Swag or No Swag app. And it was part of my WOMS Shark Tank experience in 2016. What I did was I had students create their own apps and then they pitched them much like a standard pitch session to industry professionals. It was tight. I had like three or four industry professionals. They came in. They checked out the student work, but guess what? It's middle school. I told them they could choose whatever they wanted to do, and guess who they talked about? Themselves. <laughs> all of their apps were all about me, nothing else. And I thought, that's a missed opportunity. So I tried it again. What's really cool about teaching is you do things once, and the next year the kids never did it. So you get to do it again and remix it. So I did it again, and I made a flyer this time. And when I made the flyer, 25 industry people came out to check out these students' apps. So we brought it back, WOMS. Shark Tank 2017 version two. This year was all about social justice and about really making an impact in the community through computer science, thinking maybe it won't just be about them. Luckily, I got to have an awesome group that I got to work with all year, looking at this amazing wheel, right? We got to break down looking closely, exploring complexities and finding opportunities. Shout out to ABD. Really changed the way that we broke down this app development cycle. So now we started looking and using empathy to find out what people really needed. I had my students go out in the community, interview people, and come up with the needs of others, not just themselves. Here you see Aubrey. She doesn't like her friends. She's hella messy, right? That's what it says there if you can't see it. She's hella messy. She gets into lots of gossip. What was really cool was by inviting the students to have their own voice and agency in the project, I answered the why without them ever even having to ask it. 
Instead of them saying, Mr. Scott, why do I need algebra? Hey, you need algebra to make that app. And guess what? We presented in front of 25 amazing industry vets that came from eBay, The Next Thing Co., Salesforce. And look at the pride of these students. I mean, you can see my pride. I'm beaming with pride. <laughs> So I invite you to think of another solution besides that we need to make more black Mark Zuckerbergs. That is true. But what if we had a place where computer science was completely relevant and what you learned and how you were assessed made sense to you and it actually came from your own student voice and it was in every class. I see my students in CS, they get an A in CS and an F in history and I go to history class and they're asleep. Let's make it all engaging. Let's bring student voice into everything from assessment to making to design. And I want to have a conversation with you about that. That was the email handle and Twitter handle, but it's gone. That's the joy of Ignite Talks. Just like that, it's gone. Five minutes goes up so fast, ladies and gentlemen. Please check me out on Twitter. Thank you very much.